everybody. Um, summer's coming. It's just around the corner and you guys are going to get your official summer reading information soon. Um, but for those of you who love to read or have specific interests, um, we're going to be putting up a suggested reading list every day this week on different topics. So today's list is um, Black Authors. So these are six books by Black Authors. Um, and actually, I made sure that all of these books are ebooks that you can check out right now from the library's collection. If you're not sure how to do that, there is a video right here on our YouTube channel that walks you through exactly how to do it. All you need is your school username and password and your iPad. Um, so let's get started. Um, this is our suggested reading list for Black authors that you can download the books and read them right from home. Um, book number one is called It All Comes Down to This by Karen English. Um, this book is about Sophie. She and her family are the first African-American family ever to move to this fancy upscale neighborhood in Los Angeles in 1965. Um, as you can imagine, she's already struggling to fit in when race riots break out in a city nearby. And suddenly Sophie is trying to figure out where she belongs, what her identity is, um, and who she stands with. So this is a really great look back at a point in history that um, can tell us a lot about what's going on today. Book number two is called Rebound by Kwame Alexander. Um, for any of you guys who've read The Crossover, this book is actually a prequel. So it's about the dad from The Crossover when he was young. Um, it takes place in 1988 and it's about Charlie Bell, who is the dad from The Crossover when he was a teenager. Um, he goes to spend the summer with his grandparents. And at his grandparents' house, there are three things that are really important, jazz, basketball, and family history. So Charlie learns a lot about all three. And this is a novel in verse, just like the crossover, which means it's written in um, freeform poetry. So if you like things, if you like poetry, or if you like things that are just kind of um, on the shorter side, this book could definitely be for you. Our next book is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. A lot of you guys have probably already heard of this book, um, or maybe you've even seen the movie. This book won the National Book Award. Um, it was on the list for the National Book Award. Um, if you've seen the movie, definitely give the book a try. The book is so good. It is about Star Carter, who is 16 years old and out for a drive with her best friend Khalil um, when he gets shot and killed by police. Um, Khalil is unarmed and he's a teenager just like Star and <clears throat> as we all know um, his death uh, starts making headlines people start protesting people are really upset by it um, and unfortunately Star is the only person who actually witnessed what really happened so she is under pressure to tell the truth um, from some factions and under pressure to lie from other people. Um, and she has to figure out what she's going to say when she goes to court. Um, this is a really powerful book and really relevant to all the things that are going on um, in the news and in the country today. Um, so if you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend that you do so. Just know that there is some um, more mature language and content in it. So it might be best for our high school students. Our next book is called The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Kamkwamba. Um, this is actually a true story about William's life um, written by William with some help. Um, he's telling the story of his life growing up in Mal Malawi. Um, he and his family lived on a farm, uh, but a drought comes to his village and all the crops die. Um, and so William started going to the local library and studying science books to try to figure out if there was something he could do to improve his family's life. Um, he ultimately decides that he's going to build a windmill on his family's land. Um, so he figures out how to do it from the books in the library, does it, and it changes his family's life forever. Um, this is a really, really powerful book. Um, and for those of you who like nonfiction, this is a great read. Our next book is called Riot. It's by Walter Dean Myers. You guys might have read other books by Walter Dean Myers. He's got a ton of them. Um, so if you like his writing, you might want to give this one a try. Um, this is historical fiction. So it's based um, on historical fact. And it takes place in 1863 as the country is in the middle of the Civil War. 
and it takes place in New York City, where um, there's a new draft for the Civil War. People are being drafted to fight. Um, and as the first drawing for the draft is being held to see who's going to be set to fight, um, violence erupts all over the city um, because not everyone thinks that the draft is fair or right. So Irish immigrant, immigrants begin attacking Black citizens. Um, and Claire, who happens to be the daughter of an Irish mother and an African father, has no idea who's right and who's wrong in this situation. Um, all she knows is that people that she loves are attacking each other, the city that she loves um, is being destroyed, and she has to figure out what she thinks of it all. And our sixth and final book for this book list is Why We Can't Wait by Martin Luther King Jr. Um, this book was originally published in the 1960s, but it is just as relevant today as it has ever been. Um, this is Dr. King's examination of the civil rights movement. Um, he talks about why the civil rights movement came to be. Um, he looks back at the past to see where it started, why it's important, um, and what are the driving forces behind the civil rights movement of the 1960s and the protests in Birmingham. Um, for anybody who's interested in um, civil rights history or current um, protests and, and civil rights issues, this is absolutely a must read. Um, as I said, you can get all of these books on your iPad. Um, you can download them in ebook form from the school library, but if you want even more books by Black authors, you can also use your public library card to go to gcls.org, um, and they have hundreds of ebooks and audiobooks that you can read at home on your iPad, on your phone, or whatever other device you have. If you don't have a library card, just go to their website and find out how you can get a temporary one while the libraries are closed. Um, so that's it for our Black Authors book list, but check back tomorrow for another video um, for another book list.